As always, it's good to see you again, Odooers. Today, we'll be sitting on the dock of the warehouse. That's right, unlike our old friend Otis, we won't be wasting time watching the tide roll away. We've got work to do. In this case, we'll be managing incoming shipments using cross-docking. What is cross-docking? Well, I'm glad you asked. You see, when we receive products on a truck, we don't always want to enter them into our warehouse inventory. Sometimes, we want to put them onto another truck and send them directly to our customers. This reduces the amount of warehouse space we need and also allows us to get our customers their products as quickly as possible. All right, let's jump into Odoo and see how cross-docking works. Now, the first thing to mention is that cross-docking has a dedicated route in Odoo. To make this route available, there are a few settings we need to configure. To begin, we have to open the inventory application and navigate to our configuration and then to settings. On the settings page, we want to make sure that multi-step routes are enabled. Enabling this setting allows us to process incoming and outcoming shipments in more than one step, which is necessary when using cross-docking. Before we can do that, we need to enable two or three-step shipping for our warehouses. To do so, I'll go back to configuration and then click on warehouses and then select our warehouse. For both incoming and outgoing shipments, make sure that we have two or three step enabled. With all of those settings configured, the cross dock route is enabled in the database. We can see that by clicking on configuration and then routes and selecting cross dock. In the rules section of the route, we can see that cross docking uses two rules. For the first rule, we pull from our warehouse input location and send it to our warehouse output location. For the second rule, we pull from our warehouse output location and send to our customers. Basically, a product goes directly from warehouse intake to warehouse output and then to the customer. All right, before we see this route in action, let's take a look at the product I've configured to use it, our table. So I'll click on products products once again, and then select our table product. In the purchase tab, I've added table time as our vendor. This is the vendor will purchase the product from before sending it to the customer. In the inventory tab, I've selected the buy and cross dock routes in the routes section. This allows us to buy the product and then use the cross dock route once we received it. Once you've configured a product this way in your database, it's ready to be used with the cross dock route. All right, let's see this route in action. The first thing we need to do is create a sales order or SO for the customer who wants to buy the table from us. I'll head back to our main dashboard, select our sales app, and then click on new to create a new quotation. In the customer field, I'll select our top customer, Terry Green and then I'll add the table to the order lines tab below. Finally, I'll click the confirm to turn the quotation into an SO. And once I do, a couple buttons appear at the top of the page. Let's click on the delivery smart button first. This page shows us the two transfers we need to complete the cross dock workflow, which correspond to the two rules we saw on the page for the cross dock route. As you can see in the status column, both transfers are waiting another option. This is because we need to purchase the table before we can receive and send it. To do so, I'll click on the breadcrumbs to return to the SO, and then I'll select our purchases smart button at the top for our request for quotation or RFQ, which was created automatically when we confirmed the sales order. Once we're ready to purchase the product, we just need to click Confirm Order on the RFQ to turn it into a PO. When the product arrives in our warehouse, we need to click on the Receive Products button and then validate to confirm that the product has been received. Normally, we'd enter this product into our warehouse inventory and leave it there until a customer purchases it. However, since we're using the cross dock route to fulfill an existing sales order, we need to put it directly onto the truck that will deliver it. To do so, we'll jump back to the sales order using the SO breadcrumb, and then click the delivery smart button to see the transfers we need to get this product to the customer. As you can see, the status of the input transfer now appears as ready. So let's click on it and then click validate to confirm that product has been taken off the truck and delivered to us.
Then we'll click on the transfer's breadcrumb to return to the previous page, where we can see the output transfer now appears as ready. After we put the product on the delivery truck, we just need to open that transfer and then click on validate to confirm that it's ready to be sent to the customer. And just like that, we've purchased a product, received it to our dock, and immediately moved it to the delivery truck that will take it to our customer. And that brings us to the end of this workflow. You now know how to use this route cross dock. Now that I'm done with the work for the day and I'm ready to waste some time, maybe I'll sit on the dock and watch the tad roll away. Thanks for sticking around, Odours, and I'll see you next time.